Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to World of Tanks. I welcome you back to World of Tanks 9.16 test server because in today's episode I'm going to show you our first ever Swedish vehicle in the game. This is going to be tier 6 premium tank with autoloading ability and it is called STRV M4257 ALT A2. Super ridiculous name, but uh, whatever, let's see what this bad boy is made of. And uh, today's episode is going to be actually pretty weird duo, because after, after I'm going to show you one gameplay with this thing, I'm going to be playing one game with JPE100 as well. Because I am on test server and this is the perfect place to test out tanks uh, that I do not have on my main account. So this is what I'm going to do today. Some tier 6 action and some tier 10 action with heavy boomstick. Uh, JP100's one shell is actually bigger than this vehicle over here. So yeah, pretty weird too, but uh, let's get going. Uh, as you can see, I have four tanks uh, to compare over here, to compare with STRV. Uh, so quickly, let's go over some stats, just in case, I don't know, you're interested about seeing uh, stats as well. Uh, but what I am interested about is, I'm interested about seeing how this actually performs on the battlefield. So quickly, average damage per minute, the lowest average damage per minute. Accuracy, the best accuracy actually, uh, reload time 15.66 seconds, uh, 2 seconds between each shot, which is actually not too bad, uh, aim time 2.21 seconds, but I'm actually using uh, gun length drive and, uh, and uh, ventilation, so it is going to be better, uh, what else interesting over here? Gun depression, 6 degrees, uh, worst, but uh, not too bad, as you're going to see. I am able to work with that in the live action, you're going to see soon. Uh, rate of fire, 11.1 .1 shots per minute. Average damage, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, average damage, so one of the lowest ones, yes, actually Cromwell B has even lower. Average damage, standard shell penetration. Uh, standard shell penetration with uh, standard ammunition is uh, 148. And uh, penetration value with the premium shells is going to be 190. Uh, so hit points, 700. The lowest amount of hit points. Uh, no armor whatsoever, pretty much. Turret armor, once again, no armor whatsoever. Uh, Wave, uh, ooh, the lightest tank out of all those things. Engine power, but it actually moves quite nicely. Top speed 45, it gets up to the top speed without any problems, but uh, compared to the Gromwell's uh, 64, it is still nothing, minus uh, 19. Uh, concealment, the best camo value out there, and the view range. So yeah, view range is actually yeah pretty decent, as you can see, almost the same. Uh, but with all the equipments that I have activated at the moment, uh, I have Brothers in Arms, I have um, Improved Ventilation Class 2, I have Coated Optics and Gun Link Drive. Uh, thanks to that, my aim time is 1.84 seconds and this is actually pretty good. Uh, just, just see. Without Gun Link Drive it is going to be 2.02, .02, but with Gun Link Drive it is going to be making it a lot better, uh, 1.8084. So accuracy 0 0.31, I'm actually using food as well, which is coffee with cinnamon buns. I really would like have one, yes please. So I believe this is actually the best food out there in the game yet. Coffee with cinnamon buns. You know guys how much I love coffee. So yeah, but anyways, with uh, all those skills, equipment units and consumables, I have tank like this. View range 444, singular range 434, and uh, 1765 damage per minute. But I have to say, autoloader with uh, under 14 second, or no, 15 second reload time, 14.39 second reload time, uh, with uh, 4 shots in one clip, is actually quite enjoyable to play with. I'm not going to lie. And uh, props to the Swedish uh, designers uh, because every single camo uh, looks pretty nice. So this is completely white. This is what I like, cracked white. 
really awesome and both camos over here are awesome as well so this is what i'm using at the moment the second one is going to look like this oh yeah i have lisa on the side just to fool players so maybe they think i'm a krill and that they're going to spare me and the final camo well this is nothing special but this is actually quite sexy so props to the swedish designer team uh, anyways, what else interesting over here before I jump into the battle? This is my loadout. I am carrying 25 APCR shots uh, just in case I'm going to see a lot of tier 8s because on this server you usually see a lot of tier 8s with your tier 6 vehicle because we have a lot of tier 8 premium tanks in the game that people would like to test out before they're going to buy one. So this is why I'm carrying 24 APCR shots. Uh, once again, 190 penetration, 148 penetration and 150 average damage. I believe that much about the stats, about this tank. Let's jump into the action now. We are And what do you know, I was actually able to get full game going, which is awesome and <laughs> yeah. I am on the bottom of the food chain, so I guess some APCR is going to be used in this battle. Yeah, they have quite a few nasty tanks that are going to be over here, most likely. So, let's see. I would like to be where that LTTB is at the moment. Trading chats with 50B, not 50B, sorry, 5100. Goodbye. And this guy most likely is trying to get behind the hill. At least one shot. First shot, critical hit, no damage done. Okay, he's the dire 6 also. Trying to go over. Oh yes, he is. I'm not going to be the first guy who is going to spot him. Let's try to keep him tracked. And let's go back to reload. Reload speed of uh, one clip is actually pretty good with all the equipment. Or not equipment, with all the boosting and protons, drums and food and such. Because uh, it is outloader, you cannot carry large caliber tank on rammer with it. Uh, the only way you boost, the only way to uh, boost your reload time is uh, if you're going to carry food and brothers in arms and ventilation. Ventilation is also going to help you out. Let's let's try to be a little bit sneaky. Shit, he saw me coming somehow. Well, dude, behind you, behind you, there is hun. What? Okay, guys, uh, dip of today for you. Fully aim in your shots. Always. And engine fire. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I was... Uh, yeah, I actually got to kill. Beautiful. With fire. I thought someone stole it. From me. LTTB. I thought this guy is going in. Oh, that LTTB is annoying. And uh, not for me, I mean for the enemies. Wanted to spot something. RT. Nice assistance, assistance, I take it. Oh, ASU-152 is also up there. Come on, come back. I got spotted. Now I am tier 6 tank in tier 8 game, I have to be super careful. Like more than ever. I have to wait for my opportunities. I bounced heat chat, I guess. Oh yeah. He's coming. He's coming for us. Well, definitely he's coming for us. Back to reload. I was able to deal full clip of damage and ram kill. Hype! Come on. Beautiful. Okay. 
I am trying to be one sneaky little bugger. Shit. The fuck? The fuck are those guys doing? Let's try to steal that kill. Ah! No. Uh, but uh, they have something on the other side of the map, so let's so let's go. And let's see. No, 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 no. Shit. This guy is going to die due to KV5, most likely. Oh, but I can see the 43. Start aiming. Aim time is not too bad. I'm using gun length drive as well, by the way. Tracked and one. Oh, nice. One blind shot and assistance thanks to the tracking. Heat shooting T71. Well, I'm not going to blame him, really. How many shots he have left? He has left. The fucking hell still spotted. Is this the same guy spotting me? Oh, you nasty bugger. He got away from me. Come on, come back. Step backwards, just one tiny little step. And no. Okay, GG guys. Not too bad. I tried to be as annoying bastard as possible. In a tier 8 game, it was pretty heavy tier 8 game, so sadly I had to use a lot of APCR ammunition. But uh, still, not too bad. One kill. <laughs> I was able to get one kill and I am fourth by damage done. And I'm sharing uh, the first place uh, by experience. So, not too bad. Or what do you think? So guys, this is going to be our first tank from Sweden, STRV M42-57 ALT A2. So all in all, nothing too bad to say about this tank. I believe it is going to be worth it. I do not know exactly how much this is going to cost, what is the price going to be, but I believe it is going to be worth it and I'm definitely going to get one uh, because I am thinking about uh, grinding out some Swedish tanks as well. Uh, so I need to start uh, training my crew members and this is the best way to do it with this premium tank. Now, while we are on the test server already, let's jump into a little bit bigger tank and let's see what we are going to be able to do with JPE-100. This battle is going to be interesting. Four artillery units. Four artillery units too many, if I may say so. But anyways, let's see what is going to be happening. I don't know guys, it is just something... Something is so satisfying. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I don't know guys. I, I don't know. I don't know why. But it feels so damn satisfying. If you're going to pull the trigger, if you're going to click your left mouse button, and if you're going to see 1000 plus damage done with one shot. It is just something else. T32 turret. Penetration. 1086 damage done. This is crazy. Those beacons, just look at it. Just look at the boomstick. Godlike. Godlike boomstick. I believe they are not going to have too many tanks back here. Why I can't see that 50B? Where is that 50B? Oh? Someone is rushing forward. Come on, back up! Beautiful, beautiful work. Why the fuck you didn't back up? Haha, <laughs> nice. Not over 1k damage done, but still pretty good amount of damage. That AMX 50B really fucked up. 
I really want to help you out, buddy. I bounced start this AP shot. There you go. Ooh, 183. Am I spotted? I don't know, but take that fire. He missed me. So at least one RT is using APCR. Not APCR, AP rounds, I mean. That is good to know. I am not that easy target uh, for APRT. So I'm not too worried. Come on. Make that mistake. Make that mistake. Go somewhere where I can shoot you. Where I can shoot you. Good English. Me speak good English. Okay, Ario is going to get his ass. Or artilleries are going to get his ass. Anyways, already 4300 damage done. Which is just beautiful. And uh, I guess we are not going to see much more damage. But. How much HP does our Krilla have? Okay. Good, good, good. Ah, they are all on the other side. And I believe that Krilla is going to be able to mop everything up. So, if this is going to be the end of the episode, I am going to say thank you guys, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. Uh, today you saw first Swedish vehicle in the game, that STRV or something like that. Ridiculous name by the way, super ridiculous name. And this is my chance to do some more damage. Come on, ooh, oh, 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 oh. Our own RT killed something. Yeah, this is GG. So, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I catch you next time in my next episode. Which is going to be maybe RNG. Jesus. I have to see how much time I have tomorrow. So, take care and bye Reno.